So one of the things that I actually like to do to speed this process up is because this is one product, but it has multiple variants, uh, how it's going to show up on your store is one product and then people will be able to select which one they want. Uh, I would rather show all the different variants as different products on the store. So there's a very simple and easy way to do this. Uh, you can see these are all different looking uh, bikinis here. But what we can do is up here we could hit more actions and split product. Now it'll ask you, do you want to split by the color or do you want to split by the size? Of course we want to split by the color. We don't want to have uh, all the smalls in one product as one product, all the mediums as one product. But what we do want to have is all the rose ones as one product. And then inside of that, we'll have a small, medium, large. So let's go ahead and split by color. Split into 10 products. That's how many different colors there are. And it'll just take some time here to make these products into all separate ones. All right, so I did have to reload the import list. So if that happens to you, just go ahead and re-click this import list. Uh, but you can see that it split the products into different colors. So you can see here that there's still 30 variants, but if you click on this, uh, you can see that it split the product. So not all of them are checked, meaning they're not going to be included, uh, except for the one it split into. So all it has is a small, medium, and large version of this specific color. So we can go back. And so what you're going to want to do now is before you import all these to your store, you're going to want to change the titles, um, change whatever you need to in the descriptions, the variants, things like that. Um, so it should have already automatically included the photos for that specific product. So aside from editing the title and the collections and description and stuff like that, you're going to want to go into the variants. And one thing that's sort of going to look weird is this. This is uh, under color. This is the color you're using. And this is going to be the color that shows up in your store. Now, if you are doing multiple colors of a product, you're going to want to change this to say something that more fits uh, the style and color of this specific swimsuit or this specific product because right now it's just numbers. It doesn't matter so much here because I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this tab altogether since I don't have different colors sold being sold together. Um, uh, description, you could leave as is right now. Uh, product, so this, you don't want this to be super long. This is a great product title for SEO. SEO meaning search engine optimization. So if somebody's looking for this bikini online, this has all kinds of keywords in it that people can find. But this very long title is not going to look that good in your store. So we're just going to shorten it up. And I'm going to put, we'll, we'll just leave it as a snakeskin bikini. Uh, actually, this is not the snakeskin one, though. Which one is this? This is like a, uh, what, more of a leopard bikini? So let's, let's use... Uh, leopard bikini so you can actually kind of have fun with these names you don't have to name it just leopard bikini you can name it whatever you want so maybe make it something more enticing so I'm gonna tag this as bikini we haven't created any collections yet so we can't add it to a collection except maybe home page is a default one uh, type we don't need anything like that description we could leave blank we could edit that later and let's just go through all of these and edit them. Once we're done here, let's push them to the store. So we're going to add this one. Just checkbox all the ones you want at your store. So white snake skin, leopard bikini, red snake skin, cheetah bikini. Okay. And then all you're going to do, you have eight, your eight products selected. You're going to hit import all to store. Are you sure you want to push to store? Yes, you do. Now that they're done and edited. So you can see if we go back to your Shopify store and click on products, every product you just added, including those toothbrushes, which we can just checkbox it and 
and delete the product. So you can see if we go back to our store and click add product, you can see that you have all of these products now in your store.